Hey, happy Saturday. Um, I just left my dad's house. Um, he's doing better. He and my stepmom are doing better. They've been sick, but they bet they definitely sound like they're feeling better. Oh God, how many people? I stopped at the produce place, and I swear I figured with it being rainy, maybe there wouldn't be so many people here. No, everybody in North Carolina and Virginia is at the damn produce place today. God, they actually had to open the third register in there. It's nuts. What did I get? I got some tomatoes. They were out of the great big striped tomatoes. I don't think they're going to be getting any more of those. It's getting a little late in the, the tomato season for those. It is wet and gross and kind of cold. Not cold, but it's chilly outside. Um, it rained all the way up here. It rained the entire time I was here. And it is still raining. This weather is yucky. I mean, I know we need it, but it sucks, you know. But anyway, we had a nice visit, but now I have to head back home. Yes, it was very nice. Um, I dropped off. I remembered to bring the VCR. I dropped off the VCR and the tapes. and um, So we had a nice visit. And uh, I brought their cat. They have this little cat. I brought their cat some toys. I love their little cat. And they have this dog. And uh, I didn't. I forgot to bring him anything. I felt bad. But I did pet him for a while. He seemed happy with that. <laughs> so the little kitty liked the toys. But I don't know. I, I can't remember. It seems like there was something I was going to tell you, and now I forgot what it was. Um, oh God, the, the freaking muffins! Those daggum muffins! Lord, it, it's like a nightmare that just keeps popping back up. It's like Freddy Krueger. Like you can't kill the stupid thing. It keeps coming back. Okay, I got the video done, and apparently. I had to edit out so much crap in this video. I had to edit the hell out of that video. Oh my God. Where do you see all the outtakes from this video? There were, ugh. There was so much I had to cut out. Well, apparently I missed something. I missed an outtake and I made a noise like, bleh, or something. I didn't realize it. I, like I said in the pinned comment of the re-uploaded video, it is a freaking miracle that that's the only one I missed. I had to edit the ever-loving hell out of that video. God knows. And I ended up with like, I messed up basically every dish I own making those damn muffins. The recipe looks so simple, but once you get into it, it's like, ah, yeah. Because you have ingredients for the muffins, you have ingredients for the filling, you have ingredients for the streusel, and you have ingredients for the glaze. And they're all separate. They're all separate. And they each need their own little bowls and containers. And I was washing dishes forever, trying to get them all washed. I had to wash them in stages. I would wash a bunch, dry them, and put them up. Wash a bunch, dry them, and put them up. Only time in my five years in this house that I wished that I could, that I, I, I wished I'd just go ahead and put them in the dishwasher. But I've lived there for five years. I've never even tried the dishwasher. I don't even know if the damn thing works. And I figured then was probably not the time to find out. So I thought, just, just quit bitching and wash these dishes. Lord have mercy, just wash them. You're not that precious, just do it. So, yeah, it was a pain in the ass. And then to find out that I had uploaded that video and it had, it had an outtake in it, if it wasn't allowed outtake, I wouldn't have even bothered redoing it. Like, screw it, just leave it. But it was kind of, I made kind of a loud noise, so. And I hate flaws. I hate knowing that I did something wrong and people were laughing that I left it in there. And that makes me mad because I feel like you're laughing at me. And it just, I hate, I hate everything about that video. I never want to see another fucking muffin as long as I live. I don't give a damn. I don't, I don't care. Screw it. So, I was mad as hell by the end of that video. I was just over it. I was over it. I smiled. I don't remember what the hell I said, but I think it was all a lie. I think it was all a damn lie. Fuck them things, man. Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm a little, I'm a little foul mouth. I do apologize. 
if you're not used to it, I, I do, I do swear, I'm sorry if that bothers you. Um, I'm never going to stop. I do have a cuss filter, you know, especially if you live in a family where people don't swear. And people in my family really don't. It's, it's considered in, impolite and inappropriate. So I have a pretty good cuss filter. I can turn it on when I need to and, you know, not swear. I am capable of it. But there are just times in life when, you know, no other word really works. No other word really nails it. Yeah. I can appreciate that. Where am I headed now? I am headed to this barbecue place. I'm going to Mount Airy. I'm headed down to Mount Airy. And there's this barbecue place there called Little Richard's Barbecue. And I've driven past this place a bajillion times. I've never stopped there. I've never eaten there. And I'm kind of hungry. And I'm going to run through there and get some barbecue I'm all, to, eat, to eat on the way home. Because I'm hungry. And I'm quite a ways from home. So I don't want to wait until I get home to eat. I want to eat now. Eight Bees is down here too. There's a little restaurant called Eight Bees. It's not bad. They have stuff like burgers and hot dogs, and, you know, fries and tater tots and, and that. It's it's not bad. It's pretty decent. I've eaten there a couple of times. Normally I just drive on home, but it's it's after two o'clock and I've had no I've had no lunch. I had just a little bowl of dry bran flakes for breakfast and I'm just like, Ugh. I gotta eat. I'm hungry. There's a Libby Hill down here. Libby Hill has fish. If you've ever been to Libby Hill, we used to have a couple of Libby Hill locations in Greensboro, but I think they're, well, I know two of them are closed. I don't know if there are any Libby Hills left in uh, Greensboro anymore. But we're going to Little Richard's Barbecue, and the, the sign is funny because it has little running pigs on it. And I, I have a theory about barbecue places. The creepier or the funnier the sign, the better the barbecue. If they show somebody chasing, there's this place in uh, Greensboro called Frosty's Barbecue, where <laughs> they have this old sign. It's an old place. It's like this little roadside hole in the wall place. They have this sign of this chef, like he's got his big chef hat and his apron, you know, and he's running with a damn butcher knife, this big ass meat cleaver. And he's chasing this pig who's running so fast, he's got like dust going behind him. And the, the, the chef has this bucket, I'm assuming it's barbecue sauce, but it looks like he's sloshing a bucket of blood in his other hand and he's chasing this pig. <laughs> mm, I want that on a t-shirt. Frosty's Barbecue. That sign is funny as hell. It's just like this sadistic chef is like wild eyed. Like why do you even need barbecue sauce yet? The damn pig is not even dead. It looks like a bucket of blood. <laughs> I'm sorry. I love Frosty's. They do have good barbecue. All right. Little Richard's. Damn this place is crowded. That's a good sign. That means it's probably good. Where am I supposed to park? They have a big old picture of a pig on the front. It says, eat mo pig, M-O apostrophe. Oh, bless your heart. It's this elderly couple crossing the street. Come on now, I love it. The, the lady, the elderly lady has got her hair dyed like a reddish pink color. That's cool as hell. I wonder if that was deliberate. If so, that rocks. Love it. All right, sorry, I'm gonna shut up. So. Here's what I'm gonna do. God, it is raining something all full. You can tell I've been around my daddy. It's my, yeah. My accent gets a little extra stank on it when I come up here. Let me show you what I bought. I'm gonna go into Little Richard's and get me some barbecue in a minute. I'm not gonna show you that, but look. At the, uh, at the produce place, I don't know who makes this sourdough bread. Let's see, it's from Whispering Pines Bakery in Hillsville, Virginia. You can buy these loaves of this, this sourdough bread. It is so good. Oh my Lord, it's heavy. It's really dense. This is a pound and five ounces. It was only $3.29 and it is so good. Oh, this is the best bread. So I got a loaf of that. I got my candy necklace. I'm gonna eat my candy necklace. I did not get one on the way up there. I also got a container of candy blocks. 
look at this, it's like little candy Legos, and you can actually put them together. So I, I got these to share with my kids. I also, I, I had to stand in line for a while and I got to looking at the candy, that's why I got the candy box. And I also found blackberry cobbler candy corn. Then it looks like Halloween candy corn. I don't know if it's any good or not, but I got a bag of uh, blackberry cobbler candy corn. It looks pretty, it's purple and white, look at that. Ooh, it's like Halloween candy corn. And they didn't have any of the stripy tomatoes, but I did get some, some of these yellow tomatoes. These are really good. They're not quite as acidic as regular tomatoes. They're, they're a little bit less acidic. I think they're really good on a, on a tomato sandwich. So anyway, it was a good, it was a good visit. I'm not looking forward to driving back home in the rain, but it looks like I'm going to have to because it's supposed to do this all day. So there's no point in trying to wait it out. But, uh, yeah, so it was good and I'm, I'm getting really hungry. So I got to find my wallet. I got my wallet. I don't have my keys. Got my keys in here somewhere. So I'm going to go in there and get some barbecue. I may actually make a video of eating the barbecue, trying it, you know. Maybe I'll do that. But I hope your Saturday is good. I hope you're having a good weekend so far. And I hope that the outtake wasn't too jarring for you in the video before I took it down. And that's how I spent my night last night. I didn't get to bed till after midnight because I had to edit that stupid thing. And then I had to re-upload it and wait for the checks and everything to take place before I could publish it. So, I, yeah, I got to bed a lot later last night than I was hoping to. I was hoping to get to bed at a decent hour, but then I started seeing people comment on the, that outtake that I didn't know was in there. Like, oh, shit. Shit. So, I had, to, I had to take it down and redo it, and I was mad. I was mad at myself, and then I'm getting mad at other people for no reason. Like, well, let's see you do a video like that and do it perfectly then, you sweet, skippy ass. You get mad at these people for nothing, Mary. They're not saying anything about you. Well, why does everybody have to point out everything? Why can't you just be happy? Why you gotta point out every damn thing I do? God. And then I realized, Mary, you're being ridiculous. You're getting mad at people for no reason. Settle down, just calm down. But I, but you see, I thought I was done with that video. Like, I'll never have to deal with that video again. It's done. Thank God. No, no, it's not done. It's coming back to haunt you again. You're going to have to pull it up again and redo it again. <laughs> You're never going to be done with this video. It's going to haunt your dreams for the rest of your life. That's why I said in the pinned comment, if there's anything else wrong with this video, that's just too damn bad. I'm not touching it again. I am done. I am completely done with this stupid video. Screw it. All right. I'm, I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. I am putting up my hood, though, because it's very rainy. What are you doing? I guess they're leaving. They pulled into that spot, and I don't think they ever got out. Maybe I missed it. I, I'm going to go into Little Richard's BBQ and get some BBQ. And I might make a video about it if I, if I feel it. If I get back out to the car and it feels like a thing I should do, maybe I will. Um, oh, I also stopped at the liquor store on my way up to my dad's. And I got him some apple brandy, and I took him, I took him a bottle of that too. He was very, very appreciative. So anyway, oh, the rain's slacking off. I'm getting out. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you again soon.